right, we're going on to 3B. Still in the hockey stick, but what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna give something for the lady to overturn this action, do a little lock and a different kind of a two count into a little slip chasse for the man, back into a basic action. Let me give it to you from my, this view. First of all, we're gonna do, actually, sorry, van position into your hockey. So we have two, three, four, and one. Two, three, locking, four, and one. Forward break, two, three, four, and one. One more time from fan position. We have measures two, three, four, and two. Two, three, four, and three. Two, three, four, and four. All right, gentlemen, your part. Let me show it from a back view. Uh, fan position, we go through. Closing the normal fan, two, three, slip chasse, four, and one four and one. I'm gonna do a back break while she moves to her next section into the hockey stick. Two, three. This time, gentlemen, I am gonna bring that hand down and continue the energy through so she overturns this hockey stick. I'm gonna lock step towards her. Four and one. I'm gonna be stepping forward on my two count for two. Two, she comes back to the three. I've got my body going on this diagonal. She's gonna be moving there. As she does, I'm gonna do a slip chasse to lead her to come back to me on the one count. Four and one. One more time from the same view. Fan position goes through. Forward break for two, three. Slip chasse, four and one. Leading the lady to the hockey stick. Back, replace three. She's overturning that three count. I'm gonna do a lock step forward towards her. Four and one. Leading her onto her two count through my one. As she steps onto her two, I am stepping forward. Two, but my body energy is already on the back half of that foot, which invites her back towards me. I move on to my three. That three is on this little diagonal. She's going to make that move to that right side. I do my slip chasse. She does a little hip twist chasse, four and one. Ladies parts. Ladies, starting from the fan, we're closing on two. Move forward on three, lock step forward. Four and one. Now we have two step forward. Two, three. Spiral. Now we have another lock step forward. Four and one. Step forward on two. Two. On end, you're going to rotate, find your partner. Step forward on three. Now we're going to do a hip twist. Side together, side. One more time. And close. Two, three, four and one. Two, three. And four and one, two and three, four and one. And ladies, on my description over here, I made a mistake. Instead of after my step forward, forward towards the man, instead of going sideways, I need you to go diagonally forward, diagonally forward, close, and then side together. Yes? Now, another thing where I would like you to pay attention from two, three, this we already know, now on two, three, very small steps, two, three, the turn happens on the end and make sure you don't overturn right away. This is going to feel very uncomfortable. I would, like, I would like you to still pay attention to your partner. Now we do the lock step, four and one. Now on the three, you can rotate slightly more, two, find a man on three and hip twist, four and one. Okay, guys, points for you from you get your basic to fan, from fan to hockey stick. But you dance in that two. When I move on to my three count, I've got to bring her all the way through, even through that spiral action. I've got my body still coming towards her, so she knows she's still going to be moving through that four and one. But I've got it on that three count. My energy, if you notice, my body's already coming towards her for her to go to her four and one. She dances her four and one. But if you notice, Kasha actually could have an option here. She could do her lockstep looking that direction four and one, she, and then stepping forward to two. She could also, on this spiral, it makes a nice effect, two, three, two, three. When she makes that, she keeps her eye on me, but her body continues to turn. You can't do anything about that. That's her color she chooses to paint her room with, okay? When she dances that two, three, now on the four and one, 
four, and I'm gonna increase my energy towards her on that one. Now she can take it away. I am stepping forward to my two count, but I want you to watch. See if you can be aware of where my body weight is on my left foot. Two, I'm on my left foot, but Kasha and I, we speak of this as the back of the middle of the foot. I'm not committing towards her. She's gonna feel like taking another step forward. I'm stepping forward to that two count, but my weight's on the back of the middle. When she feels that, that invites her to come back towards me. That prevents me from having to go on a forward two count and then using my hand to bring her back. For years that confused me. How can I step forward and yet bring her back without it being my hand? Where my body weight is on my foot, that's, that's key. Whenever I have my weight on the back part of that foot, she makes her turn two. I move my right hip back through that diagonal. That's, that's the invitation for her to go this way. Now, as she comes this way, I'm gonna go with her, four. But watch my end count, already tell her I want her to come back to here. Everything is a pre-lead. One more time, slowly through the four and one. Four and one, that compression, you see me come in, it tells her to go. Two, she already feels that stretch away because of my weight being on the back of my foot. Three, you can see it bring her towards her. As she attacks me, four, and you can see my body already asking her to go there. Again, I get to dance, I don't have to worry about leading. Let's try this to music. 